Well, today is Juneteenth, the oldest known holiday that celebrates the end of slavery. As Jesse Tenor reports from our exclusive Washington Bureau, lawmakers are considering creating a commission to study the history of slavery, its lingering in effects, and the effects that reparations the might have. The national reparations policy is a moral, democratic, and economic imperative. As Black Panthers stood in silence outside, actor Danny Glover joined a panel in front of a House committee to remember his roots, the great-grandson of a former slave who was freed by the Emancipation Proclamation. Slavery was a crime against humanity, one which, whose impacts we as a society continue to grapple with today. Tennessee Congressman Steve Cohen and his colleagues revived a conversation that hasn't happened in Congress in more than a decade. Payments or reparations for descendants of African slaves, African Americans. It is only this group. Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is sponsoring a resolution first introduced three decades ago to form a commission to get the process going. A huge crowd lined the walls outside of the hearing to push it forward. We want the America that we talk about. This is the first step. Some see the discussion as purely political. Project 21, a black leadership network, calls reparations a sham that hurts race relations. And on Tuesday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell also voiced his opposition. We're always a work in progress in this country, uh, but no one currently alive was responsible for that. Members of the panel fired back. This rebuttal proffers a strange theory of governance that American accounts are somehow bound by the lifetime of its generations. The country has paid other debts, including reparations to Japanese Americans after they were held in internment camps during World War II. Now these Americans argue it's their turn. In Washington, Jesse Tenor, Local 24 News. Dozens are weighing in on the idea for reparations on our Facebook page. Creighton Douglas says African Americans should receive reparations because their community still suffers from the lingering effects financially. We've never corrected this wrong despite doing it for many other groups. Sheila Reedy White suggested instead of giving away money, why not reduce taxes instead? And Janelle Adams simply said in part, the government will still tax it. We invite you to join the conversation just like our local Memphis page on Facebook and then comment on this post.